Rustic cuff creator and mompreneur Jill Donovan was an attorney when she reinvented herself at age 41. I took a sabbatical after eight years and decided that I was going to teach myself how to make cuffs. I made a cuff for a girl who works at Saks and she called me and said, I've got like 20 girls who work at Saks and they want to buy one. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not selling them. It's just a hobby. We had a little party and sold like 200 at the party. And so then it grew. Well, then I had a nervous breakdown first <laughs> and then um, just did it for like a year in that back bedroom. There were days I actually forgot I had kids. And I'm not joking, until four o'clock in the morning, at least four or five nights a week, it was only me. So after doing this for a year, we had an opportunity to go on Good Morning America. A Tori Johnson called and said, okay, how many cuffs can you make in a day? Two days later, she put us on the air and we sold 2,000 that day. In just three short years, she has taken her hobby of making bracelets and turned it into an international business that has celebrities wearing and tweeting about them. I had these custom boxes made for all these celebrities, 20 boxes, and I laid them all out on the floor. I wrote down every person that I was watching on TV that night, every news anchor, every person that I thought could represent Rustic Cuff. And then I put in each box, I put six cuffs. Because it became in a really cool package, they would never know that I was in my back bedroom <laughs> making these. They didn't know. I tried to make it bigger than it actually was. Jill has created the ideal work environment for women. I wanted everybody to know that their kids came first, their family came first, because I felt like then you would just bring your whole family into this. Oh! oh. 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 First steps at Rustica. I was going to say. Oh. My favorite word is organic. And I think that what people don't do is allow organic things to happen to them. Because they think, no, that's the, they have these blinders on and they think, no, that this is where I'm supposed to be. What is the one thing that when you just sit and think about it, gets you excited? Her success proves it's never too late to dig deep and excavate what it is that makes your heart leap and organically go for it. We are now in um, Dillard's and Nordstrom's and in 300 boutique stores with my small village here that we have and it is just very, very surreal. When I walk in here on the weekends and nobody's here, um, I walk in and it feels like I'm walking into somebody else's office. Like, this is a really cool place. I hope I get to work here someday. And I'm like, no, wait. I do work here. I get. I mean, all these people are part of my family. So it is. It, every day is is very very surreal here. I couldn't have dreamt this dream, but I love walking it out every day. <laughs>